I feel really dirty with these in my hand right wow. now. <laughs> All right, I'm breaking into this episode to say hi from the present time. We are actually at Schoolie Palooza 2020 right now in Arizona. It's been super fun meeting everyone and fans and new bus lifers and old bus lifers. It's been awesome. More importantly, I <laughs> wanted to clarify that the town in this episode is Wachapreek, Virginia. I feel awful to the 240 full-time residents of that town because I pronounced the name of it incorrectly. I also have no clue if this is like the 67th or 68th or, or whatever it is annual fireman's carnival. So yeah, this is a new series. It's going to be called Snacky Poo. You know, we're just like traveling on the road and every once in a while run into something and be like, you know what? I think it's time for a little Snacky Poo. Mm -hmm. uh, so enjoy. Yo. Yo. What is happening? <laughs> so I've had this kind of goofy idea going where uh, we do a playlist where I'm eating strange things on the road. <laughs> We're at a local <laughs> carnival. <laughs> so I thought, what better to start the series than to get... Potentially, they have crab rolls here, and they also have pizza. And we may end up trying their fries, too. So we'll just see how this goes. <laughs> okay. So everyone gets excited about pizza day at school so it doesn't even matter what quality the pizza is in the first place you're always excited about it i will say the crust is like super hard off the bat like i can pinch this thing but i'm still excited cheese tastes a little fake <laughs> mm. We got music now. <laughs> it was great. I don't know why I didn't predict that they'd have country music playing in the background. So I hope, hopefully, you guys can hear all of this. But I just wanted to fill in the end part on the pizza. The crust was like almost like it was manufactured. Like it just came as like a full breaded crust. Like it wasn't tossed or anything like that. Bruh. And it's definitely that like sub quality cheese that uh, I don't know. Like anyone that's had a pretty terrible piece of pizza knows exactly the type of cheese I'm talking about. Do you mind her filming yet? So, uh, <laughs> doing I've it. never heard of an oyster fritter or a cram fritter or most Clam. of those things. <laughs> okay. So, what are your recommendations? Everyone says the crab cake is really good, okay. but, um, but I just don't particularly like oysters or clams like that. Okay. But they're mixed with a little bit of batter and fried and put on a hamburger bun. Ooh, that sounds good. And that's the crab cake? There's a crab cake which, with crab meat, and then there's an oyster fritter with oysters, and the clam has the clam and the breading. So when what comes on, and both of those come on? They're, all, they're all on buns, all on buns. Um, okay. there's condiments down at the bottom. Okay, I guess I'm going to do the crab then. Okay. Is there recommended condiments that should go on a crab cake? On this crab cake? Yeah. Don't put anything, Don't put anything on it. Nothing? <laughs> I have one every night. That's wild. <laughs> That's awesome. Custom wrappers. I know, it's crazy. I was told specifically not to put any condiments on it whatsoever. So this is what we're working with. Have you ever had a crab cake before? No, like not one that's worth a damn. <laughs> it smells really good. Like it smells like like no fishy smell whatsoever. Eat it. Ooh, it's warm. Wow, it's very meaty. Like when I think of crab and like that type of shit, I feel like loose and like not very like hearty. But this feels like I'm eating a burger right now. Wow. <laughs> I thought I got a little. Really good. <laughs> I thought I got a little shell there for a second. <laughs> that would really ruin things. Which I think I may. I may have a little shell. <laughs> Either way, I'm eating it. It's interesting because like, it's just crab. Like it, it tastes like it's just crab, and like you. It have spices in it. I mean, it probably has spices too. Like it's definitely not just plain crab. But what I'm saying is like they didn't throw like any garbage ve vegetables or anything in oh, there yeah. like that. I kind of think of when I think of a crab cake. I don't know why. 
because uh, you've never really had a crab cake. No, I haven't had a crab cake, so that's why. <laughs> we hunted down the yeah. most magnificent carnival treat. I chased down this lady. I think she was really <laughs> weirded out because I'd never seen these, and they were fried Oreos. So that's what we're doing. Yeah. I don't really know how this series is going to work. We're probably not going to be eating at a carnival every time, <laughs> but it's going to be something kind of weird. And so uh, this will be the third and last item that we try for this episode, and I am so excited. I feel really dirty with these in my hand right now. I, I don't know where I've been, but I've never heard of a fried Oreo in my life. So just not from, these don't happen in the Midwest. I've, have you heard they, of them? They do. Yeah, I've oh. heard of them for sure. I've just never actually seen one. Where have so. you been all my life? God bless those people who are frying those. It is so hot in there. Is it everything you hoped? What's the texture like? It's very gooey. You know, an Oreo has a crunch. This has eliminated the Oreo crunch. That looks sexy. It's one of the oddest things I've ever had fried. But I mean, it's good. I mean, how can it not be? It's, it's fried and it's Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> wow, holy shit balls. These are so hot. Monica loves Oreos. I do. Whoa. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That I've never seen you attack a food with such vengeance before. <laughs> that where have these been all of our lives? They're pretty good. I mean, I feel like it needs a little bit more of a crunch for me. Like, this is fried, oh, no. and it's really good, but I need the outside to be crunchy, and it just isn't there. Almost. So close. <laughs> it's really good. All right, well... We are officially terrified at the top of the Ferris wheel at the 65th Wachateague Volunteer Firemen's Carnival. So thanks for watching the first episode of uh, Cole Eats Strange Stuff on the Road. Oh if, shit. If we survive the Ferris wheel, you will see us again. Hopefully we'll have another episode. Oh, it keeps rocking. <laughs> Alright, peace guys.